welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing. BoxyCharm is actually one of my favorite makeup subscription boxes and the box is so tiny this month. <laughs> Saving on shipping costs. BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription service. They feature beauty, uh, skincare and some lifestyle things. The lifestyle things don't generally come in regular boxes. It's usually boxy lux, which is an upgrade. Every three months you pay an additional, I think it's like $28.99, $29.99, something like that. It totals up to be around $50 and every three months you get a boxy lux, which boxy charm is four to five full size items and then boxy lux is usually eight or nine full size items and i love this subscription so let's dive on into the box i'm going to be doing a try on portion so there'll be times when i stop the video to go put on something that's not in my box so when you open it up there's always a, a little kind of styrofoam thing and a theme card and then it tells you what you have on the back I got variation number two. If you can see that in the corner, it's not really, well, it's just variation number two. It's a little heart at the front of the theme card. This month's theme is totally boxy charm. It's all pink, all about giving me 80s Barbie vibes. And then, like I said, it does tell you on the back what you got and the retail value of those items. So, here is the inside. So the first thing that I am going to be trying, I did my serum. Okay, I'm looking at what I have in the box. I already put my serum on, washed my face today. So the first thing I'm going to be trying is this Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. So the value of this is... $42. <laughs> wow. So this little thing is $42. This says this multitasking beauty elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy, youthful complexion, no matter what skin type you have. That's good because I'm combination and my skin is sensitive. So it's good that it's no matter what skin type you have. The lightweight, powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restores, restore skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. The spill-proof dropper allows you to use it one drop at a time. So that's fun. Okay, let's see how this goes. One, two, three, four, five. Seems like it might be enough. It's very pink. You can see that, very pink. All right, I'm just gonna rub it on my face. Okay, I need a little bit more for my forehead. Just put a little bit more on my hand. It does have, it looks like, reflective particles in there. My forehead does tend to get a little oily, but hopefully it's nothing too crazy. So that is the only skincare item I got in my box. I'll run through the other things I got really quickly, and then I'll go and I'll put on my moisturizer, primer, base, and then try out the other things I got. One thing I will be trying out for sure is this Becca Hydra, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Open it up. It's not full to the top, if you can see that. It's maybe half to three quarters of the way full. And I just got my fingerprints all over the lid. But... There is that. So, and then when you open it up, it says keep me closed to keep me cool. Okay. So it comes with a top lid and then there is like a little safety seal. Just pull that off. Oh, 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 oh. Pull it off carefully because I did get a little bit of the powder. It came through the sifter. So make sure you pull that off very carefully. And then it has kind of like a little sifter that you can get as much product as you need. I'm trying to not waste too much of it, but I'll be using that later. 
the value of that is $39. This weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth and visible finish. Formulated with 50% water and glycerin, this powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. So I will be trying that out. Let me just put the cap back on this. I'll let you know my deeper thoughts about that in a while. This doesn't have much of a scent, so if you're really sensitive to scents, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, there is a slight tackiness on the skin, but it's not, it's not sticky. It, it seems to be sinking in pretty nicely. And then the next thing I will be using once I go do my base, I got two Ace Beauty shadows in Ice Latte is this one, the brown shade, and Cotton Candy, which is a more pink shade. I'll go ahead and do some swatcheroos real quick. I love, I got the Ace Beauty Grandiose palette in a previous BoxyCharm. They're really silky smooth to the touch. They have some glitter in there, so if you're not a glitter fan, probably not for you. Ooh, and they apply super nicely, at least for swatches. So this is Cotton Candy, and this is Iced Latte, I believe it was. Yes, so they swatch beautifully on the hand. We'll see how they apply on the lids in the try-on portion of the video but I do like Ace Beauty. I am a little disappointed. They did have another variation you could have gotten where it was like a purple and a silver. I would have much preferred that one. It's more my speed, but I do like Ace Beauty shadows, so I am excited to give those a try. There's also another variation you could have gotten besides the shadows, a glitter peel-off mask that's like a pure and Barbie collab and I don't really enjoy peel off masks. They're really abrasive on my skin. I find them hard to peel off sometimes and I just don't tend to use them as much as other masks. But of the two eyeshadow variations, that was my least preferred one, but preferred over the peel off mask. Let me know what you think about masks in the comment below. Do you like them? If you do, which is your favorite? The next thing I got is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I don't know, I just have so many mascaras, I'm not sure if I want to try this one on. I might give this to my sister-in-law, her birthday is today. I already got her a mascara, her favorite mascara is the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. But that's what the packaging looks like, very pink, everything's very pink. And that's what the wand looks like, pretty standard, I would say. I might try it on because it, since it's my sister-in-law, I don't think she would really care if I used it. <laughs> so I can give you my thoughts on it. But since I already do have mascaras, I'll probably be passing this along to my sister-in-law with her other mascaras she's getting for her birthday. The last item I have is a, oh, and then the Ace Beauty Shadows retail value is 25. Highly pigmented shadows with a creamy texture, specially designed for the ultimate color payoff. Okay, and then the mascara is $23. That's about average for a, a decent mascara. And it's ultra black and it's vegan. So it's supposed to last for up to 16 hours. And then the Steve Laurent lip liner is 15. And smooths, smooths over your lip line for a seamless and flawless finish. And it's waterproof, so that's great for summertime. It is hot in Texas. So let's get that open. Oh, the cap came right off. All right, well, whatevs. I'll swatch it next to these shadows. Um, okay. What is the, this is in the color Chic. It's like a mauvey brown. It's not, it's kind of hard to get a good swatch of this, at least on my hand. But there it is right there. Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Chic. It's like more of a brown. So I will be trying all this on momentarily. I am going to go put my moisturizer, moisturizer, my moisturizer on, put a base on, and then I will come back and try out these items. I'll let you know what I think of them. And yeah, so I'll be right back. Hi friends, I'm back. So when I was off camera, I just put on my eyebrows. I used the Iconic London eyebrow cushion I got in the previous BoxyCharm. And then I used a prime moisturizer, two-in-one, 
all about saving time. It's the Pure Leafs Priming Moisturizer. And it's matcha, but I don't notice a huge matcha scent, which is great because I'm not the biggest fan of the matcha scent. So, and then I put on a color corrected tinted moisturizer, color correcting tinted moisturizer. So just because I didn't want my concealer to crease, I'm going to use this Bye Bye Under Eye. I think I might have gotten it in Ipsy. I'm not really 100% certain. It could have been Birchbox back when I was still getting Birchbox. But I honestly, I canceled my Birchbox because the samples will just were just really small. And... I would rather spend money elsewhere, even though it's just $10. Well, now it's like 15, but you know. Okay, and then I'm also going to put on a little bit of eyeshadow primer so that while I'm doing my powder, I'm gonna use the Becca powder I got in this month's BoxyCharm so that it'll have time to dry down just a little bit. So that I can prime my eyes for a nice eyeshadow application. My husband just came home for lunch, so I didn't want to do all this and then it be completely dried down. Okay, and then I will just rub it on this piece of paper. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to try this Becca powder. And I think I'm gonna use this beauty blender to set my under eye. And then maybe a brush to do the rest of my face. Okay, so I heard a lot of people saying that it feels really weird. I've been watching unboxings and I don't think it's, it's that weird. It's a little cooling. It's kind of like I, I dampened my beauty, beauty blender, but I haven't, but it's not bad. Just putting it in the areas where I have the most sebum production. My nose is definitely one of those. And I don't know if you guys have this, but like my upper lip right here can be kind of crazy sometimes. My chin. And then my forehead. Yeah, it's cooling, but it's not overly so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big brush. Yeah, this is what is this? This is a Moda brush. So I'm gonna take this brush, dip it in here, and just kind of set the oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's nice. It's very, it has a very cooling effect, which is fantastic for summer. I'm just going to kind of get the areas that I haven't already gotten. It's kind of messy, but it feels really nice on the skin, especially I am in my garage and boy, howdy, it is hot. I'm just going to do another once over on my forehead because that is where I get the most oily. I do have combination skin. Just smooth that out a little bit. It, it is cooling. I do like that. Definitely excited to try this out even more. And I do have an empties video coming soon, which I will let you guys know what I thought of products I have already finished. So now I do have the eyeshadow, the mascara, and the lip liner try on, but I am going to go off camera really quick, do my bronzer, my blush, my highlight. And I think that's all. And then I will come back and do more try-on stuff with you guys. Back, I threw on a little bronzer, blush, highlight. For bronzer and blush, I use this Pacifica Duo. It is bronze rose, bronzed rose, rose and coconut infused blush and bronzer. And then for the highlight, I used Jeffree Star Liquid Frost in the shade Ice Queen. So now I'm going to get into the eyes and I'm going to do the Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadow. I think I'm going to do the more brown shade in the crease and then this pinkier shade on the lid. 
So let me get, I love this brush set from Lexi. I use it almost every time I do eyeshadow. Just so pretty and works well. So I'm gonna take the shade Ice Latte, get a little bit on my brush and then do my crease. not as pigmented as, as I was thinking it might be and on my eyes it actually looks like it might be oh I'm sweating my makeup is coming off <laughs> it's hot in my garage y'all okay it looks a little more mauve on the actual lid I'm gonna do that on my other eye in the crease And what I might do, because with the brush, I, I use these brushes a lot and it usually applies a lot nicer. I noticed when I did my finger swatches, it actually looked quite awesome. So what I might do is pack on the other shade on my lid with my finger and see if that gives me a bit better color payout because I have gone over this a few times now and it's just not building up to the consistency that I would prefer. Let me blend this out just a little bit. Okay, so the brown shade went on my lid, or on my crease, sorry, and I'm gonna pack on this pink shade on my lid with my finger and see if the color payout is more desirable with the finger. Yep. Oh, that didn't even take two seconds to realize that. Yes, yes, yes. See that? That That's pretty great. And it feels so nice, too. I am a little bummed that we're getting two single shadows as opposed to a palette. But they actually perform really nicely so I can't get too mad about that do I wish I would have gotten the purple and silver yes but that being said this isn't terrible I do I do like the way it looks I do like how it feels so I would say the Ace Beauty singles are a win, even though I don't typically reach for single shadows, but I might have to with these. I'm gonna just blend a little. And yes, blending does take away some of the color vibrancy, but it's still very, very pretty. All right, so now I am going to just toss on some eyeliner real quick before I move on to using the mascara. This is an Ico liner. I believe I got an Ipsy, but it could have been Birchbox. I think next month's Ipsy is saying they might do an Ico liner too, but I, I actually, I like the Ico liner. I use it. It's one of the eyeliners I use the most frequently. So even though I already have one, I wouldn't be too terribly upset if I got another. Trying to talk and do eyeliner at the same time is not working in my favor. All right, so I just did a tiny bit of eyeliner, nothing too crazy. And now I'm gonna try the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. It smells kind of strong when it first comes out. All right. I guess I forgot to delete previous videos, so it's saying my max record time had been reached, but I was just starting to apply this mascara. 
and it does smell quite strongly when you first open it. Um, mm, it's a mascara. <laughs> I prefer ones that thicken as well as lengthen, and though this does darken and appears to lengthen a little bit, I'm not really getting much of a thickening effect from this mascara. So it would probably not be one that I reach for. So I might add this in giving my sister-in-law lots of mascaras because she wears mascara all the time. It's pretty much the only makeup product that she always wears. So that will probably be going to her. Next, I'm going to use the Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Chic. And this is actually applying a little bit better on my lips than it did on my hand, although it is a little patchy in some places, but the color is nice. Okay, so I'm not a humongous 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 fan of lip liners this one's okay is it the best no will i reach for it often probably not but it's not terrible it's not the worst just like okay now i'm using what is this bare minerals gen nude i think i might have gotten this in a sephora play i tried to pick the one that i thought okay sorry for all the disruptions my camera got too hot so <laughs> I, my camera does not want me to film this video, I guess, but I popped on the lip color, like I was saying before my video cut off. I tried to pick the lip color I had that was closest to the lip liner. So this is the completed look with the August BoxyCharm. All in all, it was a decent box. I would have preferred to have gotten the serum instead of the mascara because I am on mascara overload right now. A lot of them are going to my sister-in-law just because I cannot use them as fast as I get them. So, and it is her birthday today, so happy birthday, Jessica. And for the eyeshadows, I would have preferred the purple and the silver as opposed to the pink and the brown. But I do like the formula. I like the way they apply. They're really silky. The powder is nice and cooling, even though it is kind of accentuating my lines a little bit. Maybe I won't use it for under eye powder. It seems to be working pretty nicely everywhere else. And the lip liner... That might be going to my mom because she actually uses lip liner. I don't hate it. It's just I don't tend to reach for lip liners. And then what was the other thing? Powder, mascara, eyeshadow, lip liner, and... Oh, I guess I can look at my card. Where did my card go? Oh, the Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. That's the first thing I used. It seemed to work pretty well. It sunk in pretty nicely. And it's not giving me too much of a glow. Most of that shine you're seeing is from the highlight and the blush I used. But it, it felt pretty nice on the skin. So all in all, I think it was a decent box. Was it my favorite? No, it was not my favorite. Um, it might actually be one of the least favorite I've gotten this year. But it still had good products in it that are definitely worth the value of the box. You only pay $21. And even if you just like one thing out of the box, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be worth it. Um, I do wish they would stop sending me mascaras. It's funny because Ipsy, uh, you get to opt out of different things. And I opted out of mascaras two months ago. And then the month I opted out of mascaras, I got a mascara. So... <laughs> It's like the world just wants me to have a ton of mascara, but I guess that just means more surprises for my sister-in-law. <laughs> I'm excited for boxy looks next month. Let me know what you thought about this box. If you get BoxyCharm, which variation did you get versus which one would you rather have? If you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. No harsh feelings. 
If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. And if you don't, well, I hope you have a wonderful day anyways. I will talk to you guys later. I do have an empties video coming in the near future when I can get my life together enough and my camera together enough to actually do it because it might be slightly lengthy. But at any rate, I hope you have a fantastic day. <clears throat> and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!